So not only did so, you switch to a fully educational element, but you increased the price and you're crushing it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I have uh, a very awesome guest with me today. Um, very excited. Kenneth Jensen is with me today. Kenneth, how are you doing? Thank you for coming on. Yeah, thank you for, for listening to me, <laughs> but thank you for, for doing this. It's amazing, uh, man. Absolutely, absolutely. So you have a very, very awesome success story, you and, uh, you and your partner, um, Jacob. Yeah. And you guys created a fifth, currently, we're, this is where we're at currently. I'm sure you guys are going to grow, but you're currently at about $50,000 a month. Uh, and you're consulting and helping personal trainers in Denmark. So you created yeah. a $50,000 a month business uh, by helping other personal trainers uh, in Denmark. Yeah. And so exactly. I'm just excited to talk to you about that today. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, sure. No problem, man. Cool. So just to catch everybody up, uh, you joined my program. You decided to uh, work with my company to help you grow an information product. Tell mm. me um, a little bit about like why you reached out and what the problem was you had before working with us and, mm. and just give, give us some background. Yeah. Um, actually it started last year when I was um, doing all of the work in the business. Um, we managed to hit about 50 K per month. Um, but I was so stressed. It was like crazy. I was doing, I was basically running 12 personal trainer businesses uh, myself uh, because everybody was depending on me I had no structure in the business I was the only one on the team doing the work um, everything was depending on me so um, I quickly found out that that's not the way to run a business uh, and um, half year into the program uh, I decided to shut the program down um, together with a with a coach I had um, and I was really stressed and just needed to find myself. Give us a little yeah. background because I think some people might be wondering exactly what you were selling at the time. Yeah. Just give us um, a little background on what that was. Um, we are helping personal trainers in Denmark grow their business, help them with the mindset, helping them with the sales. That's pretty much what we focus on is the sales process. So you were consulting for personal trainers to grow their business? Yeah, basically. Okay. Um, especially in Denmark, there's so many limited beliefs because Denmark is a small country. We have like 6 million people or something total. So it's a really small country and there's a lot of limited beliefs about what you can earn as a personal trainer in Denmark. Um, yeah. So, so we, we basically took that part of the market. I've been a personal trainer myself for eight years. Um, and the first two and a half years, I struggled myself a lot. Like I earned 5k the first two and a half year together. So like nothing. You made, you made um, how much? Five five k five thousand dollars in total within the first two and a half years, and I tried to become full time wow. personal trainer right away. So I did something wrong, but I managed to um, to understand the sales process. I was really afraid of selling at that point, um, but I learned how to actually sell and love selling. And I've actually found out when you're selling, that's that's when you actually change people's life. Not so much on the floor but by selling the right program to the right people. And so that became like my, my mission to help other trainers do the same and, and learn the process without feeling like a pushy salesperson and stuff like that. Uh, and it worked. And uh, we really got um, our business coach Igniter uh, to run really, really fast from the beginning. And that's when I was doing all the work myself, coaching everybody myself. And, and yeah, basically they were depending on me uh, all, always because I had no red, red line in the process and I was just getting overwhelmed myself. So the, yeah, it was just a mess. So if you um, had to like, if you had to like summarize what the problem you had was, um, you know, before you came to my company, what would you say yeah. that problem was like a summary of what that problem was? Yeah. I don't know if you remember, but on the sales call, I told you, uh, you asked me why I wanted to join the program. And I said, that's because you have the blueprint. I need the blueprint. Uh, and I remember you were like, yeah, but it's more than the blueprint. But I'm always like, no, it's, it's the blueprint. I just need the blueprint. I, was, I had this feeling and I talked with the, my mom about this actually. And I said to her, you know what? It feels like we are sitting on top of gold mine, but, I, but I, it's like I need a shovel. I know the gold is there, but I need a shovel to dig it up. 
and and yeah you you have the you have the blueprint um, and the reason is i read your book i i saw you at funnel hacking live last year this year i've been looking for coaches like forever to find somebody who already have done what i'm doing um, so it's easier to follow basically the blueprint um, but i couldn't really find them and when i read your book and it was like okay it, it really feels like you know what we need to do in this process. So it feels like we are moving in the right direction, but we basically just need the blueprint. Just a few years ago, it was like to get at this level was, it, it wasn't possible. It was as simple as that. 5K a month, that's the limit. I couldn't get beyond that. Let me, yeah. let me ask, um, when we initially talked, you, you had a very large done for you element. You were working with these personal yeah. trainers and you were like setting up their ads and you were like just doing all kinds of, of grunt work for them. And if you remember, I told you that A, you didn't need to do that to get results for them. And yeah. B, uh, by doing that, you were, you're tremendously limiting your scale. Yeah. Um, do you remember us talking about that? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, actually, it wasn't us who was doing it, but we had uh, an agency helping us with the with the, the ads for the trainers right and you were like giving them but, a cut and and but there was still the logistics there yeah yeah the, and i remember that's that's the, the funny part um we were when we started with you we were 12 12k a month <laughs> and that's the great thing about networking and and reaching out for people who are in front of you um, because we were like that's okay i think but the, i remember you specifically said guys you are basically at zero and you have logistic problems right now. Come on. So it was like right, exactly. Man, you got you yeah. guys because twelve grand a month. Let's be honest. In in any sort of digital product, consulting, coaching, online mm -hmm. course, mastermind business, it is basically zero. I mean, it's it's mm -hmm. it's from ten from zero to twenty. It's not that big of a difference. You start hitting a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred grand a month. Now. Mm -hmm. I can understand logistic problems, but when you're at a sub 20,000 a month, you should have zero logistical problems. And you guys had logistical problems um, and fulfillment problems that a company that, that, you know, I mean, we did like 1.6 million last month and I had less problems than you guys had at 12 grand a month. <laughs> so, so right. like, I mean, I, and if, and when we talked about that, I was like, you've got way too many, like the opera, you know, everybody, it, it's, it's funny. Everybody looks at, uh, this, this whole business, like, Oh, I'm going to get help from Dan or I'm going to get help from whoever on marketing and ads. And, and the, th the funny thing is, is that if your logistics, your operations are so broken yeah. that you're spending all your time on fulfillment and, and just all the nuts and bolts of, of, of that, of that, uh, you know, that, that wheel spinning, yeah. then you're not going to have time to focus on the marketing mm, exactly, and exactly. the, ads and the copy and all that. And so it's something that is just, if not more important. So mm -hmm. I, I remember I, us mm -hmm. talking, I remember, man, we got to yeah. fix that. So let me, let me ask you, you went ahead and you, did you remove that from the business? You, you fixed all that? Yeah. Luckily we are, I have my partner, Jacob, and he's the, the ad guy. He's doing the ads for us. And, and I asked him specifically on the call, Jacob, you need to be honest. Can you deliver a course doing this. Can you remember I said that? Yes. Did that on the call? Uh, and he said, yes, 100% sure I can do it. He said, okay, let's go for it. And he created the most amazing course. We, we had a, a live course with uh, 10 participants who just was asking a lot of questions. They paid like nothing for it, but a little bit, but, but just to get some questions. So we knew when they, when, when they stopped and, and were struggling. Um, and from that course, we created the whole thing in one, like, we just create everything now out of that um, recorded everything from scratch and then we launched it. And uh, I remember the first one who went through the program, uh, the, the ad course was a woman, uh, 32, uh, sorry, 52 years old, never ever seen anything inside ad manager at all. And she managed to set this up by herself without asking questions. And the next day she got, I think it was 15 calls registered. So, so that goes to show program. you, right, that yeah. remember, I, I encouraged you to switch to a fully educational element where instead yeah. of giving them, you know, 
giving them a, a, a fish, you teach mm -hmm. them how to fish. And, I, and that is more valuable to them and that will get better results. And as you can see, mm -hmm. that happened. You know, you yeah. don't have to hold them by the hand. In fact, a lot of people, they want the hand holding, right? Yeah. But if you teach them how to do it themselves, if you educate them rather than do it for them, it's much, much more valuable. Yeah. And the idea that you can't, you know, some people have this limiting belief that they can charge this much for done for you, but they can only charge this much, yeah. this much to educate. And I believe it's the opposite. You yeah. know, I believe I mean, that, that you can switch that. And yeah. you can charge more for education because if I do something for you once and it's done, it's done. But if I teach yeah. you how to do it and you can do it for the rest of your life, that is far more valuable. Yeah. And so a lot of people undercharge because they feel that, oh, well, I can't charge that much unless I'm doing it for them. No, it's the opposite. Right. And That's as right. you can see here, you guys are at 50K a month and you switch to a fully educational element. You were at what? It was 12K a month when you were doing yeah. sort of more of like a done with you, done for you type of hybrid, yeah. correct? Yeah, actually, uh, it's funny part because you're saying that people charge this when it's it's done for you, uh, this when it's done for you element, and this when you are doing it yourself. Um, actually, we did the the reverse thing uh, because we uh, we increased the price with three thousand crowns, uh, three thousand um, dollars after we changed it. So not only did so, you switch to a fully educational element, but you increased the price and you're crushing it, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. So let me ask you, um, was there any reason why, I mean, you could have ch chosen a lot of people to work with, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of companies, uh, but you, you chose mine and yeah. I'm grateful for that. But is there any particular reason why you chose to work with us versus anybody else? Uh, because of the blueprint. Um, I've been open-minded about coaches uh, in a long time. I had, I think had two or three coaches last year. Um, but even though they are really great guys, some of them have earned like hundred millions of dollars. So it's not like they are bad or anything, but they didn't have a business like this, like you have and I have. So it was like, I need somebody who really understand this kind of, this type of business, this coaching elements and a sales process. And, and when I read your book, it was like, okay, now I really know you're doing what we're doing. Um, so it was like, it, it just fitted, fitted our model really, really well. So for me, it was pretty much a no-brainer. Um, and I, I spoke with uh, Jacob, my partner, and said, man, we, we really need to do this. Um, we, we need to join this program because it'll, we, we can figure it out ourselves, but I'm so tired of just trying and trying and trying. And you know, even though it seems logical, and I read a book with Russell or with whoever, and they talk about a specific strategy and it, it yeah it makes sense but that's like for everybody what about specifically our business is it is there anything we need to do in a different way or it's like mm -hmm. so when you're not 100 percent certain you 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 mess it up, up for yourself so you're not doing it with 100 percent commitment because you you don't you're not really sure it works for your business but when i i knew you were doing the same thing as we were doing I knew you, this is basically, we need that program. We need, we need that blueprint because we can take it and we can do it with 100% certainty. And that's exactly what we did. And that's why we did it. That's why we could increase it so awesome. much since we did. Awesome. Now, so, was there any, was there anything that scared you about the investment and how did you, how did you get over that? <laughs> um, no, not really. I, I, I thought that was about the, the price point. Um, but Actually, because of the call, we got a lot of ideas about how to put our uh, price points together and what to charge and in, in what way we should charge this. But so basically, we, we right after the call, I removed every single monthly payment from all our programs right away. Because it seems like when you're charging people every month, people are looking at the number and, see, and, and saying, can I afford on my monthly budget? to take this money out of the budget. And in most cases, no, I can't. And that's why they say no. But if you're charging now, for example, we're charging either one payment or two payment, everybody, everything else is removed. So it's, amount, it's an amount of money that people right away can sell. I'm not going to be able to afford this on a monthly payment, on a monthly budget. budget. So I need to find the money somewhere else. Mm. So I got so much inspiration mm. from that sales call with you that that changed most of the, the beginning of this journey. 
um, and and we basically changed everything in the price structure right away. Well, I think also, well, I don't think, I know. When you have somebody who wants to invest in your program and you get them to make a one-time payment versus like every 12 months or every, um, one, every month for 12 months, which is something I highly discourage, you're going to get much better clients. Absolutely, 100%. If somebody doesn't have enough faith in investing in themselves to make a one-time payment or even a two-time, a two-part payment versus, yeah. oh, well, no, let me limp in by paying a little bit every yeah. month for 12 months. They're just not that, I mean, I hate to say it, this sounds kind of rude, but if you need to, if you don't have, if you won't put in the effort to find the money up front yeah. and, and you need to pay a little bit every month for 12 months, you're not that serious about whatever problem it is you're trying to solve. Exactly. And so by only working with people who are serious enough to go out and figure out how to make that one-time payment, you ensure that you're going to be working with good people. And yeah. as a result, you'll get them better results. You'll have better results from your students and you will grow a much better business. And so, you know, if you remember, I encouraged you, I said, don't take no 12 month pay plan. That's ridiculous. Like you, mm -hmm. you're going to get the worst type of customer. You want to get mm -hmm. people who believe in themselves enough to make the investment and not limp yeah. in and not just crawl in. So yeah. I'm glad that you, uh, I'm glad that you did that. Mm -hmm. And let yeah. me ask you, was there anything particular about uh, the process of how we, we helped you grow that was particularly effective? We, we were struggling a little bit with, with our own ads. So in the beginning, when, uh, when, when we launched an ad, it was really cheap, but, two three days into this into the ad it just increased the price like crazy um, and it was so frustrating because it feels like yeah it's working but then ugh, it doesn't work <laughs> so it got so expensive um, and then you said to us um, that if in the beginning facebook will just go after low-hanging fruits go after uh, the warm traffic and then when we run out of hot, hot traffic warm traffic you did the then dead cold far. test you did the dead cold yeah, test. yeah. so we uh, we excluded everybody who had visited our homepage, our Instagram, our Facebook, whatever, uh, for the last, I think it was 30 days or maybe even 60 days. And then we launched the ad and right away it went cheap and it just stayed there forever. I think we run the same ads for two months and it's still about the same. Uh, so that's that's something days. that uh, a lot of, see, there's so many, you know, when you make, you know, we've done directly from Facebook ads of fifteen million dollars for my own programs. And when you do that much revenue and you spend millions on Facebook ads or YouTube ads or whatever, you yeah. learn a lot of little things that when they when you add up all those little things, it, it can really help to grow your business. And yeah, one of them is the dead cold test. And when you do that, you realize that your your ads and your creative weren't as good as you thought they were. Yeah, it was but people, the wrong data. You're right, because, because you get the wrong data. And mm -hmm. so uh, some may listen to this interview and think, oh, that's the golden nugget. The golden nugget is that you remove people from your targeting that may have interacted with your business so that you know if it's converting or not. And that is a golden nugget, but the real golden nugget is now you're in a position where when you create advertising, you realize it has to be way, way better than what you're putting out. And so it teaches you to create better ads because you're putting yourself in a position where you're literally going after dead cold people. And mm -hmm. I think what happens is people in their minds, they think that ads don't last long. And that they burn out when in reality, it's that their ads weren't very good to begin with. And those ads were simply shown to people who were already in their network. When that pool runs out, it shows it to actual cold prospects. Yeah. And the cold prospects are like, well, this is, this is garbage. This sucks. This advertisement sucks. So it trains you to get better at ads. And, you know, I always say that some people teach you what to do and how to do it. I teach you how to do it well. Yeah, exactly. So that's I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up. That was that's a, yeah, a, because it's it's like before it took us like three to four days before we found out that this ad doesn't work. But since we changed it and showed it to cold traffic right away, we got immediate data that we could actually use. So right away, like even a few hours uh, later, we had an idea about if it's worked worked or didn't work. Um, so 
it got us much more much more um, faster results and and much more productive because right away we knew if we needed to change something and we didn't we, we had to wait like three days before we when we were like sure that this is actually going to work or not so it delayed us a lot before but now it's like we know right away if it works or doesn't and that's awesome. that's like a relief that's that's amazing so thank so, you for that Yes, uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's what I do. <laughs> so let me ask you then: How long have you been in the program? Uh, we started in May. So, so that so you started months. in May. It's uh, yeah, at the end of May. So uh, about two months now. So two months. Yeah, two, two and um, almost three months now. Almost okay. So almost so about ninety day. Almost almost three months, and you've yeah. gone from twelve k a month to. 50k a month, which I think is uh, a, a pretty good. There's no stock uh, on the plan, and you've obviously already made your entire investment back. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you: if you could summarize the the outcome so far, and you've only been in less than 90 days, um, yeah. how would you summarize that? I mean, I know. I mean, your 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 booking calls, your closing sales in Denmark. Can you can you tell me a few things that maybe you thought you needed to do? When, when you came into the program and once you were in, you realized you didn't need to do them to become successful. Can you give me a couple? Because I know we talked about those before. The, yeah, the, actually, that's, that's, a, that's a really interesting thing. Um, I think you and I and Jacob have been talking together like three or four times in total the last three months. We've been on almost every call since we started. But that's, that's what people get uh, misunderstand. Um, it's about the mindset and we were luckily in a, in a position where it was not like a limited beliefs right now. It was more like, what do we need to do? And, and then just, just do it. And yeah. So the direction was actually what we needed and not so much the coaching stuff. Somebody needs the coaching stuff. That's fine. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a matter of remove your false beliefs and just do the work. And luckily we had removed our false beliefs so we could start just doing the work. And that's why we, we got to this extremely ex uh, increasing in revenue within two months because we, we didn't have to figure out the mindset stuff. We didn't have all these false beliefs. Uh, so we could basically just get started. But some people need to get through this limited belief stuff and clear the mind and then they can get started. So that's why some people get results right away. Some needs to do it uh, gets results after a few months or something sure. so but but that's one of the biggest things uh, and a big haha -ha because i can see we're moving so fast because we don't we don't destroy our own process um so that's one of the things um yeah what else um you said i said something before the call what was yeah that? you were we were talking about um uh, you wanted to expand to, you thought that the, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We wanted to, yeah, that's a good one. Um, we wanted to expand to, uh, yeah, international, uh, with, with the, with because the that's host. what you thought was going to be the key to growing your revenues. Um, yes and no. Uh, yes, because I wanted to get a lot more trainers. Uh, so mm -hmm. absolutely. But uh, it's, it was basically mostly because of the, the excitement of doing something international instead of just ah. Denmark. So, uh, so that was the main thing. But, but yeah, definitely. I always thought that there was not enough trainers in Denmark. But the fact is, I know for sure at least 3,000 trainers are getting educated every year. So um, that's not enough, enough trainers in Denmark. But, but um, you, you told us because we said we wanted to go international and you advised us to not do that right now maybe later, but start with the Danish area and make sure this business works in Denmark. And whenever it works in Denmark, that's when we could take it international. And, and that's what we did. So we, uh, we dropped all of the plans about international and just focus on Denmark. We uh, had two programs. One program is now 100% do it yourself um, and are getting sold by a webinar. And then we just focus 100% on our biggest, uh, it's an accelerator program, we call it, but uh, the, the high ticket program. Right. And that's when we, that's where we get the calls. We sell them that program um, and just focus and focus and focus on that specific program. Um, I, I just said no to one yesterday who 
he knew the price, he knew everything, and he was ready to go, go for it. But his mindset was like, no fucking way I'm going to work with you. So I told him no. Um, because this is, I could sell him something else, but no, I just want to focus on this. And that's, right, you gotta, that, that's a trap yeah. a lot of people fall into. They're yeah. like, well, I'll, I'll get, I gotta have a down sell. I gotta sell something yeah. else. And, and it's like, yeah. no, like that's a distraction. You sell it one is, thing, you focus yeah. on that one thing. If they don't want that thing, it's a no. You don't distract yourself by going down another path, you know? Yeah. So that's, that's, that's called discipline. That's, that's yeah. awesome that you had the discipline yeah. to say no. Um, let me ask you, so for you and Jacob, uh, yeah. I understand that you, your business has increased and you're, you're growing, you're going to make more, right? I'm absolutely very confident that you'll have a six figure month before, you know, before very long. Yeah. How, I mean, I understand how the business has changed, mm -hmm. but can you describe to me before we end the interview today, how your personal lives have changed as a result of your business growth? Yeah. Um, Basically, so much has changed since I got a team that I trust. Uh, I just saw on, on our Facebook group that uh, a few of our coaches and, and I had just posted different things and are just taking responsibility and I did nothing. I had some sales call and, and so the, it, just by having a team around you that can help you move forward, it's such a relief. Um, then uh, we got a sales rep. Uh, first time I ever had one. Uh, that's one of our coaches, and I trust him like really. Like he's he's so amazing. Um, he started just closing deals, closing deals, closing deals. He has a higher close rate right now than I have, so that's pretty amazing. Um, but uh, I went on a holiday for the last two weeks, and on the holiday he sold while I, I didn't even talk with him about it. But suddenly I saw on my phone that the we, we got a deposit and I said, think, okay, why do I get a deposit? What happened? Did I miss something? Did I do something wrong? Uh, and then I realized he just had a sales call and he got a deposit and then uh, they got the payment. So um, that, that was like right there. I felt like, okay, now we are at a whole other level. Like this, this is getting serious now. Now I can really start to see where we're going and see this is not like a startup thing. This is actually going to be a real serious business and we are already there. So it's amazing to, to see how your business are able to grow. Even if you're at a holiday, that's, that's like, yeah, it's like the first time ever you get a sale, even if it's like $10 or whatever, uh, but you didn't do anything. It just automatically showed up on your account. That's an amazing feeling. And it was like the same thing when I saw this, this sale went through and I didn't even talk with him about it. He, he handled everything. So, um, and, and isn't it amazing that so many people think that selling over the phone instead of an order page is not passive. And the reason they want to sell over the, over an order page is so that their income is passive. But in reality, when you sell over the phone and you, you master that and then you hire a sales team, it becomes literally the most passive way to sell your products. And it's just ironic that people don't understand that. I haven't taken a sales call. Uh, I think you were one of the last sales calls I took for my mastermind. I don't even take sales calls anymore. I haven't in months. And you know, my whole, my sales team just, because what it is, is, you know, like, let's say you have an order page funnel and something goes wrong. Now mm. you have to sit around for hours and figure mm. out what went wrong. And then you have to fix it. And then you have to wait and you have to, that's mm. not passive to me. But when once per week, I have a 30 minute meeting with my sales team. And I say, what did you guys hear on the calls this week? What did you guys struggle with? What, what objections did you have? And then people, what did you say? And then I just, correct them and then they go out the next week and crush it yeah. and I don't have to do anything to yeah. me that's the most passive way to sell your online courses coaching math whatever it is yeah. and it's just yeah. a funny it's a limiting belief that people have oh I don't want to sell over the phone because I want it to be yeah. passive well yeah that's why you want to sell over the phone because yeah. you you know getting a sales team up and running to sell your products and services is the most passive way to make money trust me the the the, the order page stuff when you scale an order page funnel um, it's it, the, the amount of stress and the amount of little mm. nuts and bolts you have to fix and maintain yeah. is, is just crazy compared to simply just having a conversation with your sales team. Yeah. Plus it's a whole other level of pricing. Um, right. Because this was actually a, like 
I think out of that deal, I get about 8K or something. It's mm. an 8K passive income while I was on holiday. That's a lot of orders on a, on a, on a landing page. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's exactly. Amazing. A lot of co- and you got 10 times less customers, less yeah. crap to deal with. You know, it's, it's, it's really uh, a much more passive business. P- people just don't realize it um, yeah. because they haven't done it. So, Hey yeah. man, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate that. Congratulations on your $50,000 a month. Um, that is just absolutely incredible. And the fact that you're doing it in Denmark, you're not even doing it in the United States. Like, this is, <laughs> and like you went 6 million people in Denmark. We have yeah, like, something like that. Yeah. Hundreds of millions of people here. That's yeah. absolutely incredible. So thank you so much for coming on. And let me, let me just uh, leave with one question. If anybody was considering, you know, trying to grow their coaching or consulting or online course or mastermind yeah. business or whatever, whatever digital product business they're trying to, um, grow and they were considering working with my company to help them grow as you did uh, and they were on the fence what would you say to them um i will say it this way um there's two ways to make a decision you can either do it with the mindset with with the feelings or with logic what we did with you was like ah oh, should we do it should we not do it but I was, I was like i want to do it but okay a lot of people around me start talking are you sure this good the way to do it and uh, can't you do it yourself and i was like yes 100 i can do it myself but i don't want to wait a year or two years three years to do it like i can it's right there so what i did and i actually talked with jacob about it take now let's take the feelings and just put it aside it's like feelings we know we we know you're there we didn't forget you but right now you're you're over here now let's look at the at the logic and I was like, how many sales do we need to get before the investment is back within the next 12 months? And, and like getting the sales. So we, we were calculating and it was like, we need, uh, we, at that time we needed four calls. Now it's actually only free, uh, free sales. And then we actually done, but four calls, uh, four sales at that, at that time. So I said to Jacob, do you think we will be able to get four more sales in the next 12 months? that we wouldn't have had unless we won this program. And he said, yeah, 100%. We're going to make so much more than that. Then why are we even talking about it? It's like, <laughs> that's logic, you know? That's logic. And, and so many people are missing this. I had, a, a, just before we jumped on this call, I had another sale with a, with a girl and she was in the exact same position. She said, she told me, uh, I really like to like think about it and like feel, uh, look at the things and then feel the things. And I said, okay, I agree on one of those two things. I agree that you should, you should take a look at it, but I definitely don't agree that you should feel if this is the right for you. Because what if you, well, what if you go with the feelings and the feelings is like, no, it's too risky. And what if I'm the 1% who didn't get the result and blah, blah, blah. And you make the decision to not go for it. And if you actually did it, um, I, I'm calculating what they can expect to, to hit within the first three months. And, I, and that's basically what she wanted to hit. So I said, what if you actually hit that number three, three months into the program and it's an eight month program? What if you did that? Wouldn't you be like pretty annoying that you didn't jump on the program? And she's like, yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm in. And then she bought. So, <laughs> so it's, it's just logic and feelings. And I understand when people are like, should I do it? Should I not? Take the feeling. Put it over here, say, feelings, I know you're there. It's okay. Let's look at the logic. Does this make sense for you to do it or didn't, don't it? And, and it, if it doesn't make sense to do it, then don't. Nobody are forcing you. But if it makes sense logically, go for it, man. What are you waiting for? And, and I've spent so much money on coaches and like crazy but I'm always getting better and better and better. And people are asking me, why, do, how are you doing this? Because I ask for help. <laughs> it's like simple. So put the feelings aside, just focus on the logic. Uh, the feelings will always be there and they will always tell you like, be careful, don't do it, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, do you want the results or don't you? So I wonder how it. many of those people that say, be careful, don't do it are millionaires. Yeah. And what, once again, I said, I, I wonder out of all those friends that tell people, be careful, don't do it. It's too oh, risky. Yeah. I wonder how many of them are, are millionaires. Yeah, exactly. exactly. No <laughs> you know, the definition of an, of an entrepreneur is a person that takes uh, greater than normal financial risk to build a business. Mm-hmm. And I find it funny that some people sit there and, and say, I'm an entrepreneur. 
But then when it comes time to pay for things to <laughs> learn how to grow their nope. business, they're like, nope, it's too risky. It's like, but yeah. then you're not an entrepreneur <laughs> by the literal Webster's dictionary definition. You are not an entrepreneur. Like you don't want to even take a little risk, let alone higher than normal risk. You're not an entrepreneur. So just get out, like get out of the line, you know, go yeah. over here, you know, but yeah. <laughs> it, that uh, unfortunately I mean, so many entrepreneurs that could be, will never be because of their mindset. So exactly. thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, sure, no problem. I appreciate you. I can't wait to see you grow. And uh, I can't wait to get this interview out. It was a great interview. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man.